Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> ladies and gents, I have a little brief conversation we're going to have. There has been, that's Leo, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Sayer. One of my favorite songs growing up, just like the song. It's just something about Leo, the way he did his music back then. Not all of it. I don't, all of his stuff I didn't like, but when he did stuff like this, got to give this man some credit. He couldn't dance to save an ant, but, you know, Leo. All right, back to the conversation, everyone. I've been explaining to people the level of understanding of things just because it's hard to explain to people information and I I've told people about genetic mapping and most people don't get genetic mapping so let me explain genetics and mapping genetics ancestral mama daddy papa grandpappy unks uncles all of them genes and genes carry information they're like little mini internal hard drives and when they all come together they build a supercomputer well ladies and gentlemen all of the information that your genes have embedded within them you have no idea what you're capable of once you learn how to focus now of course not just because i'm one of jehovah's witnesses but the god that i serve whose name is jehovah i get everything from him not because i said so not because he said so but because of the reality remember i'm the guy that's supposed to be a vegetable body temperature of 126 degrees so let me help you out on a couple of things ladies and gentlemen there's a couple of things that goes on when we're dealing with police officers have you ever wondered why they have a special script that the supreme court said that they have to read to you that they have to read to you why is it that they have to read this script you have the right to remain silent why, wait, why, why are you giving me a right? The Constitution doesn't say nothing about the right to remain silent. The Constitution says everything about the right to talk, to speak. It's the Fifth Amendment that says that an individual cannot be compelled to testify against himself. Okay, so they have a right to be quiet. Okay, you have the right to speak to an attorney. Now, that's the Sixth Amendment. And if you can afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at no additional charge. Huh. So what are they really doing? Oh, they're placing you under oath. But you didn't know? Go ahead. Uh, we'll, we'll put your right hand on the Bible. Do you solemnly swear that you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Ladies and gentlemen, the officer is putting you under oath. You know, you make me feel like dancing. Another one of those songs by Leo, ladies and gentlemen. All I can tell you, when he did songs like this, I'm a fan of this, this young singer. I like him. I uh, was just listening to, um, I think he had a fall or something recently. And his wife was talking about the situation and everything, but he seems to be doing okay. Leo Sayer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. The police officer is putting you under oath. That's why we are creating a document that lets him know that they're under oath. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. We're going to do you all a favor. I must remind you that you're under oath. Now, we're going to show you one thing. We're going to show you not the Florida one. We're going to show you California. 
Okay, let's move this out of the way so y'all dancing, dancing, dance the night away. I feel like dancing, dancing. Ah! Sorry, I told you I like the stupid song, and when he does music like this, it, it, it brought me through those late seventies, early eighties. All right, let's get this done, ladies and gentlemen. California Vehicle Code 465.5 defines operator to operate as to drive or to be in physical control of a motor vehicle. However, hold on, the code also provides that for the purposes of that chapter, operate does not include the use of a motor vehicle by a person who is not receiving compensation for the use. This means that a person who is driving a motor vehicle for personal purposes, such as driving to work or school, is not considered to be operating in commerce a vehicle for commercial operating a vehicle for commercial purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just California. Take a look. Puerto Rico too. Okay? It's not just California. This is what we're doing for the people who are signing up for the new program. Again, these are simple things that people should understand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this right now. If you're part of the AMCF program and you have a mortgage, mortgages only. And if you're part of, pay attention, if you are part of the AmeriLegion program and you have a mortgage that we've been working on, you will be receiving an email shortly telling you we need you to provide us a copy of your Truth in Lending Act statement. If you do not have a copy of the Truth in Lending Act statement, because many of you are going to say that you don't have a copy, you're to call the servicer and or the lender and ask them for a copy of that document specifically. The Truth in Lending Act statement, tell them that you're getting ready to pay off the mortgage and you need to know those finances. Okay? Thank you. Need you to provide that to the email address that you know that you should be communicating with from the welcome letter. So follow those instructions. Thank you. That's just a special request because that is important. We can't go to the next step without that information. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, getting back to the system. The system is all about contract. All about contract. If you understand that the system is all about contract, then how come Many of you are not going into bankruptcy court evidencing the contracts, the court cases, everything, going into bankruptcy and telling them, hey, guys, I'm still in infancy. I, I have to disaffirm these contracts. I can't afford this. I don't have any access to money or nothing. I'm sol insolvent. I don't have any access to monies. And you, follow, you want to do a Chapter 13 and you want to do all of your debts, everything. I would even put the Social Security card up there. I'd put the Social Security trust because it is a trust. I'd put all of your property there. You want to do that certificate of live birth. You want to do those numbers. Why? Because you can prove that that junk has value. You don't need to prove that it's been traded on nobody's market. You need to just prove it has value. Okay? For those of you, this is Sunday, the 20th of August. We've had a 5.1 earthquake about 100 miles away from my vicinity, and I felt it. And then we have the rains that are just now starting. They'll be here for about another eight hours. So in about an hour, we'll have constant rain. And the area I live in, I can afford it. It can afford it. We need more water because, ladies and gentlemen, haven't you noticed that California hasn't had any major wildfires uh, in these areas where we got so much water and there's so much vegetation? Well, here's the thing. Everybody and I've been bringing this to people's attention. Everybody's been hearing that we were supposed to have major flooding as a result of the water melting, uh, the snow melting because of all of the snow cap that we had excessive water, excessive snow. And during the summer, that junk was going to melt and it was going to cause the rivers to overflow and blah, blah, blah. Well, we haven't had any flooding. You haven't heard any reports of flooding. Well, the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, 
because our military, our military, the United States military, that don't, don't belong to me. Well, the military has been through the Bureau of Land Management and the Army Corps of Engineers pumping the underground water into the ocean. That's right. They've been literally pumping all of our fresh water into the ocean. That's why the water table was so low. Well, guess what? <laughs> the water table ain't low no more because all that extra water just went back where it belonged. Okay? There you go. So that's why all of our trees, the trees that were barren last year that just had leaves, literally, they all the trees had were uh not leaks twigs no leaves at all they were barren you would have thought most of them were dead well now they have leaves of plenty the leaves are everywhere and they're green here in august the leaves it hasn't rained officially rained since march and yet all of the leaves on all of the trees are green except for the ones that are not green leaves <laughs> okay how is that possible because of the water table. Their roots are getting nourishment. So that's why we're not having a lot of major fires. They're able to put them out real quickly because the vegetation is moist. It's not dry vegetation. We've had a couple of fires near me that really should have taken off. The wind was blowing and everything and they had them out in less than two hours. Literally at least five fires, no, six, seven, eight fires. Two of them started less than uh, six miles away from my home. And that was a grass fire. That got out of control. I go, bye-bye. I'm in my car and we're gone. Okay? But it didn't happen. And the fire department, it takes them 40 minutes to drive 10 miles. I live 10 miles from the fire station. 40 minutes every single time. 40 to 45 minutes to get to the location where there is a fire. Why? Because the way they figure it, they don't want people here anyway, so they'll let your property burn so that you don't have any place to go. And then they can say they did their job. Sorry. Silly of me. Ladies and gentlemen, Denise Williams. And that's what our society does. All right. I'm not going to keep you guys. Just wanted to share this information with you. The program, we've had a couple people so far, and many of you do listen to these videos. Click on the wrong link after we told them we have until midnight tonight, the 20th of August, for people to get the discount. That's being offered only through this channel and no other place. You cannot get it no other place. If you go underneath the video, you want the donation link. You don't want the pay attention, the consult link. The donation link is the only link you're looking for. When you get that link, it's going to take you to the donate page. $300 is for that program. We will be giving you more information about the program starting tomorrow. You'll receive a communication between the 21st and the 22nd, letting you know what's expected of you at the beginning. Okay? Got work to do. A lot of work to do because what most people don't know is we are losing funds doing it this way. But... We did not know there was that many of you riding around out there without license plates. Ladies and gentlemen, or who did not know how to get take care of the MSO problem with your vehicles. We will follow the law with each of these. For the tax credits, we are going to be taking care of the tax document. You will need to send it in. You will need to add in. Because this, if you've already filed your taxes, it's an amended filing. If you haven't, then you can just send the document off with the information that you have to add on your own. We will do the basis of the document for you. You will be sending it in. Okay? Just that simple. It's, it doesn't need every line to be filled out, and that's where most of you are running into mistakes. And it's shame on these CPAs and these so-called tax agents that claim they don't know what you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, so long as you forgive a debt, you should be showing them IRS tax topic 453. Well, I'm forgiving these debts. Here's the 1099C. It's been complete. Let's get this done. It's what you guys should be saying, and you're not doing that. Okay? Now, yes, yes, yes. Get your 1099Cs together. Do not send them in yet. We didn't ask for it. 
you send them in, it'll go to file 13, and then you'll be put at the bottom of the list. If we don't ask you for it, don't send it. My staff will be instructed along that line, and I will put you at the bottom of the list. I'm, I'm really, you must really understand everyone. I'm not angry, not mad. I'm just really sick and tired of people not listening. So far, it's already cost me $400 with the amount of people who keep clicking on their own link because I have to refund them their monies. Can't break it down like that. I can't break it in and give them a partial refund. It doesn't work that way. There's too many. No, Leo, we already heard that. No, I don't know that song. I, I've heard that song before. Okay, we'll we'll take care of it. I want to make it with you. This, this, Michael, Bernard, Fitzgerald. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I, I have a real difficult time when people don't listen. We give them specific instructions, and then they ignore it. I had one person who wanted to be coy, and sit up there and keep pressing on the link and keep hitting the wrong thing and doing it almost 15 different times. Well, that individual has been blocked. One after the other, after the other, after the other. Now, what they don't realize, the system lets us know if the person have any funds in the account. I can see the reason why it failed. And I looked, and it's 10 o'clock at night, and I made myself get up, turn the computer on, and block the individual because of that person ladies and gentlemen if you get the cvc wrong if you get the zip code wrong you'll be blocked automatically if you put in the information wrong we made concessions before because sometimes people make mistakes but because of that particular intelligent person we were having to do it this way from now on you try to be fair with people you try to be honest you try to be legitimate you try to be cordial and nobody wants that people want to cause as many problems as they possibly can cause i don't understand it y'all and there's nobody out there that can explain it to me ladies and gentlemen as i said before every public official is required to take an oath of office now as pay attention i will for the sake of expediency presume that you are a public officer unless you it is supposed to be not divide, but provide upon a ponderance of evidence to the contrary. So I'll take care of that. While under oath of office, nothing you say, or excuse me, anything you say can and will be used against you, including perjured statements. Do you understand? You do not have to respond directly as your conduct and or performance and or acts and or actions and or inactions and or forbearances will indicate your acquiescence to the aforementioned understanding. Okay, this will be completed. I'm still working on it. We'll take care of that. So I'm glad that finally somebody is doing something like that. Officer asks you for license, registration, and insurance. Yes, there you go. It's all right there. What's this? You asked for license, registration, and insurance. So I just gave it to you. Listen, <laughs> sir, that covers every single thing you requested. There's nothing else you can say. Literally, nothing else he can say. And then you can proceed from there. Once you place them on notice, you can proceed from there. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to definitely recommend you go ahead and amend the right to travel. A contract that's at saalimited.com. Go and take a look at the information in there. And those of you who are part of the program, you'll get a copy of that finished document when it is finished sometime tomorrow or the next day. Okay. And then you can go from there. All right, now I got to go because I got to go and do the spell check on that document. This is, uh, no, I don't want to do that because I know that song. We're going we gonna to do Try Again. Y'all know my song by Champagne. Man, let me tell you, if y'all ain't heard Try Again, then y'all need to go and YouTube Try Again by champagne and wondering where you're at today why is he hanging by the telephone hoping that you'll come home to stay see 
my song what did he tell me that he told her more what more talks more feeling close gotta go y'all hey it's sunday and if we can't take it out like this then we're doing something wrong have a good day everybody we will get with you get back with you very very soon and slow jam and that's how it ends Maybe we can try again. <laughs>